it's been reported that Peter Higgs, who proposed the existence of the so-called God particle, has died. He supposedly died April 8th, 2024, the date of the great American total solar eclipse everybody's been talking about. His birthday is May 29th. Therefore, he died 51 days before his next birthday. If we use the keypad cipher of Gematria, Peter Higgs equals 51, and in the same cipher, God particle equals 51. So I'm not going to get into an in-depth explanation about what the God particle is, but I can say it also goes by the name the Higgs boson, or boson, I don't know how to pronounce it, and look at it when it was discovered or when it was announced that it was discovered on July 4th, 2012. So think about July 4th, American Independence Day. So think about this god particle named after Peter Higgs, who died on the the second Great American Total Solar Eclipse. It's the Great American Solar Eclipses that create this X across America. People have been talking about this for a while now. So it's said that this God particle was discovered at CERN. And at this point, CERN has become the topic of many fear porn videos and it's it's going to become a meme just like the Illuminati in movies and cartoons and whatnot. But, so, the first time I ever heard of CERN was from the book Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. And the movie is probably more popular than the book from Americans. People don't like to read anymore, it seems. Both the book and the movie have a lot to do with CERN. The movie Angels and Demons released the same year that the U.S. turned 233 years old. And I say that because 233 is the 51st prime. If we use the capitals mixed cipher, this is a case sensitive cipher, God with a capital G equals 51. And with the keypad cipher of Gematria, Peter Higgs equals 51 and God particle equals 51. This is the cipher that represents the alphanumeric buttons on your telephone. So Peter Higgs equals 51, God particle equals 51. And with a case-sensitive cipher, God with a capital G equals 51. 51st prime is 233. So, as said, Peter Higgs died on the April 8th eclipse, but that eclipse was tied with the first one that started to create the X. It was August 21st, which happens to be the 233rd day of the year. And that's the anniversary of when Hawaii became a state. The last state, the last area to become a state for the United States was Hawaii. And it was established on the 233rd day of the year. And I'm just going to throw this out there. I wouldn't be surprised to find out that the number of states changes. Not today, not tomorrow, but I think the number of states will change. A lot of people talk about Pluto's return and its effect on America, and a lot of people are talking about these great American solar eclipses, which I think are bookends for Pluto's return. They talk about these eclipses and how that foreshadows some big changes in America. So I wouldn't be surprised if the number of states, either we lose a couple, which becomes 48, like the 4-8 eclipse, or we add a state and it's 51 states. So we might see a flag 
with 51 stars and 13 stripes being used. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not ever. But this is an idea that came to my brain. 13 and 51 have this relationship. 51st prime is the same as the 13th Fibonacci number. And I talked about this in a few different videos. More recently in my video about the telephone's keypad. I'll be sure to leave a link or a few links in the description box. And that will probably be the top link. So and this video has to do with the keypad, the layout of the keypad, how it encodes 233, and how this connects with the Kabbalistic and the Biblical Tree of Life. So remember I said with a capital G, God has a gematria value of 51. It's well known these days that the Illuminati, the Bavarian Illuminati, was formed on May 1st, 5-1, the same year that America, the United States, was born. Illuminati was a big part of Dan Brown's story, Angels and Demons. So, in the book... The book is not a picture book by any means, but it does have a few illustrations. There are these ambergrams. Earth, fire, water, air combined have this ambergram. The cover of some of these books, and maybe even some of the DVD covers, the word angels and demons can be flipped upside down and it can be read the same way, angels and demons, the way that the font is depicted. The word Illuminati is in the book and in the movie as well. People were branded with the word Illuminati and the way that the font is, the calligraphy, whatever you want to call it, the way that it's written, it can be flipped upside down and still be read the same way. So that's an ambergram. So there's a sense of duality I hate to spoil it, but there is a thing about the cardinal directions and these four cardinals, like Catholic leaders, these cardinals were being branded. So putting together some of these puzzle pieces, we have these, these brands. Not only are they ambergrams, they can flip upside down and read the same way. They can also rep represent these opposing forces. Uh, you can think about the four cardinal directions, and then you have these four elements, earth, air, fire, water. And then think about the title. It's angels and demons, these kind of opposites. And now we have, talking about this eclipse, it's the sun and the moon, light and dark, matter and antimatter. It makes me think they found the God particle. Were they looking for the devil particle as well? I don't know. Just, just thinking out loud here. Remember my Tree of Life telephone keypad video. Talked about God. And I talked about how God created man in his own image. And with the keypad cipher, God equals 13. Adam equals 13. Things are starting to look a lot different these days, but America used to at least outwardly project that it was for God. You, you go to court, you put your hand on the Bible. In school, when I was a child, we had to put our hand on our heart and pledge allegiance to the flag. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nowadays, with the number study, when I hear indivisible, I think of prime numbers. 
and the 51st prime number is 233. Before we go, I just want to throw this out there as well. So, angels and demons had a lot to do with the Vatican and popes and the death of a pope. The first pope was considered Peter. Peter, Cephas, the rock. Jesus said something along the lines of, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I build my church. Well, this physicist who died was Peter, for what it's worth, Peter Higgs. I'm also keeping an eye out on a Pope theme. So in this movie, and in the book, Angels and Demons, it was all this duality... And part of it had to do with science versus the church. Anyway, I'll leave it there. The main point was that Peter Higgs equals 51, God particle equals 51, and he died 51 days before his birthday. <laughs>